Good morning, YouTube. Trekking it here. Anyway, I got a little treat for you this morning. I'm trying to get some rust off of my uh, brake drums to my 79 Trans Am. So here's my little setup. All right. As you can see, I got an old computer power supply sitting here. And I've got a just a plastic bucket drum thing that I had laying around. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, in order to get a constant 12 volt out of a switched computer power supply, you need to go to the main motherboard thing and put a jumper to the green and black on one side. And then take any one of the yellow wires and black. Doesn't have to be all of them like some of the YouTube videos I've seen says. Just check for 12 volt uh, coming out of it which will plug it in. So, you need what's called a cathode and an anode. Now, I'm not going to try and be smart about this whole thing, and I'm not going to explain which one's which, because right now I can't remember. So, that being said, what I've done here is, <coughs> excuse me, my negative is connected to the brake drum down inside the tank here. Now, the tank is filled with just straight water and some OxyClean. Um, probably about three scoops, give or take, for the amount of water that I had in there. Uh, this entire setup literally cost me the water. That was about it. Um, this is the second brake drum I'm doing now. Originally, I had them both in there, but they didn't both, uh, even though they were touching, it didn't work out too well. Maybe I should have ground down some areas so they had some good contact, but either way. So, got wire coat hangers. And these are steel coat hangers, by the way. And then, as you can see, I had to ground down some of the coating off it. And that's where my positive wire is connected to. And then, this is what's collecting the dust. So your positive goes, or the rust. The positive side goes to whatever it is you want to collect the rust. Now, mind you, it has to be steel. You can't use, like, aluminum or anything like that. Also, you don't want to do this indoor because indoors... God, I can't talk this morning. It's cold out here because it does create carbon dioxide so you don't want to be doing that inside your house when i first put this stuff in there was absolutely no white bubbles or anything else on top of this water because we had rain last night but you can already see the rust is starting to come up so what it's doing is that and you can see it kind of swirling there that's because it's taking the rust from the brake drum and putting it onto this so we'll, uh, Go to the video monitor here. I'm gonna take the positive. I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is put it on the steel bar. And then we'll go to the negative side. You can see I'm getting almost eleven and a half volts. If I put the negative in the water, getting a little over ten volts, which is good. That means it's working. Now, when I did the first brake drum, this is what the end result was. All the rust came off the brake drum and went to this. This is actually an old upper control arm bar from the same car, and the threads were trashed on it, so I decided to grind it down after it was already painted or primed, and then use that. I'll get nice and close here for you see all that nice scaly rust yeah so I will come over here please excuse my mess I'll show you the other brake drum real quick here is the other brake drum this thing was nasty scaly uh, I mean it looks like it been on the car probably since 1979 And after a little bit of wire brush brushing, which when you do the wire brush, you don't want to hit the inside of it's a brake drum because you don't want to go scraping that up, even though I'm going to have these turned. Inside here was nothing but nasty scale, nasty scale rust. That's all it was. And then, of course, the outside was pretty, well, trash too. So that's a little bit of a wire wheel. Took care of that. I am going to high heat paint or prime and paint these 
Now, most electrolysis things, videos that you see on YouTube right now, show to use a battery charger. Well, I went and got that one from Lowe's. And no, I'm not getting paid from them. But the problem is it's an automatic charger, as most of the newer ones are. If you have an old battery charger, you're golden. Because it will turn on and go to a constant 6 or 12 volt. <clears throat> the new ones, on the other hand, will not. So, that was why I came up with the power supply deal. I just did a little more searching on YouTube, and this is what I came across. So, this is already cranking out, and will hopefully have me cleaned off uh, pretty well by the time I leave for work. And on that note, guys, um, if you have any questions, comments, anything of that nature, by all means, let me know. I will try and get you an answer the best I can. If I can uh, do it for you, I can even do that. But I uh, hope this helped, helped, uh, helped you out. So we'll catch you later.